What if you could have one device that seamlessly adapts to your entire day? A powerful laptop for your productivity, a creative canvas for your ideas, and a portable cinema for your downtime. That's the promise of a two-in-one, and today we're taking a close look at a very strong contender, the HP Envy X360 16AD 0003NA. I've been putting this machine through its paces for the past few weeks, and in this video we're going to cover everything you need to know, the design, the performance, that large 16-inch screen, and whether whether it's the right investment for you. So let's get to it. First things first, let's talk about the look and feel. HP have been nailing it with their premium designs and the Envy X360 is no exception. This is a full aluminium chassis in a sophisticated metro silver finish. It feels incredibly solid and well built, definitely a step up from plastic bodied laptops. At just under 1.9 kilograms, it's not the lightest 16 inch out there, but for a device with this much screen real estate and versatility, it's certainly manageable. Of course, the star of the show is the 360 degree hinge. It's smooth to operate but firm enough to hold the screen steady in any position whether you're typing in laptop mode watching a movie in tent mode or sketching in tablet mode it feels robust and reliable there's a large vent at the bottom to extract the cold air up rubber feet around the main grills aid in pushing more air in ventilation slots at the rear push the hot air out in terms of sustainability of the hp mv x360 there's ocean bound plastic in speaker enclosures and bezel keyboard keycaps and scissors contain post-consumer recycled plastic recycled metal and cover keyboard frame base hinge cap and keyboard supporting plate to open the maintenance bottom cover loosen the four small torx t5 screws and pry open with the plastic Tool. The memory is soldered on so it cannot be upgraded. The M.2 SSD storage is upgradable along with the 68 watt hour battery and WLAN card. This review model has a 16 inch 2K WXGA IPS glass touchscreen with a 1920x1200 resolution. The screen to body ratio is 90.7% and it's a useful 16x10 aspect ratio. Brightness is rated at 300 nits, fine for indoor use but not suitable for outdoor use or strong sunlight near a south facing window or villa. The glass touchscreen can get reflective when placed near a sunny window. Viewing angles are excellent thanks to the IPS technology, but the MV X360 lacks a strong colour space, rated at average 62.5% sRGB. Okay for general usage like office work or video consumption or even light photo editing. Not ideal if you want to use it for editing photos or videos professionally. The touchscreen is very responsive and works well. A useful feature when you want to scroll through a large report or long website page. Another plus with the touchscreen is using the included HP rechargeable MPP 2.0 tilt pen in the box. This is fantastic for anyone who likes to take handwritten notes, sketch or get creative on the go. The pen comes with two exchangeable tips and is charged via USB-C. Battery life is around 30 days with two hours usage daily. There are two customizable buttons on the pen and a charging light at the top. The pen is light and comfortable to hold. Using it for writing notes is responsive and tactile. The same can be said for drawing using Adobe Photoshop, comfortable to illustrate with. In terms of connecting Activity, you're well equipped. On the left, you will find a USB Type A 10 gigabits per second signaling rate HP Sleep and Charge, HDMI 2.1, and two USB Type C 10 gigabits per second signaling rate USB Power Delivery DisplayPort 1.4A HP Sleep and Charge. On the right, you'll find a USB Type A 10 gigabits per second signaling rate and a headphone microphone combo jack. The built in Wi Fi 6E 2x2 chip is from MediaTek MT7922 combined with a Bluetooth 5.3 wireless card that achieves good results during testing across two rooms. Bluetooth is stable, connected to an external mouse or speaker. You'll be spending a lot of time with the keyboard and trackpad, and thankfully, they're both excellent. The full-size keyboard is backlit, which is a must for those late-night work sessions. The keys have a satisfying amount of travel and are comfortable to type on for extended periods. There's a custom key to open up a choice between the My HP or Omen Gaming Hub apps. The large HP image pad is also a joy to use. It's responsive, accurate, and handles all your window gestures with ease. The integrated buttons do the job. They are a tad noisy when depressed, but you get used to them. Audio comes in the form of downward firing dual speakers located under the keyboard deck. In the My HP app, you can tune the audio settings in partnership with DTSX Ultra. Features like AI noise reduction and AI noise removal. Sound quality is above average and respectable. Volume can get quite loud without too much distortion. Good for video streaming or listening to your favorite Spotify playlist. No surprise, bass could be a little stronger, but it's fine for general use. Here are some audio samples. The 
5 megapixel IR camera has temporal noise reduction and integrated dual ray digital microphones. There's a webcam privacy shutter to stop prying eyes. The 5 megapixel webcam's image quality is very good with decent lighting conditions. Colors are passable and there's excellent clarity. Great for daily teams or Zoom meetings. Now let's talk about what's under the hood. This specific model, the 16AD0003 NA, comes with the powerful AMD Ryzen 7 8840HS processor, 8 Zen 4 cores running at 3.3 to 5.1 gigahertz, a generous 16 gigabyte of RAM and a spacious and speedy 1 terabyte SSD. In plain English, this laptop is fast. For your day-to-day -day multitasking, we're talking dozens of browser tabs, streaming music and running office apps all at once. It doesn't break a sweat. I've also been really impressed with its capabilities for more demanding tasks. Photo editing in Adobe Lightroom is smooth and you can even get away with some light 1080p video editing for your social media content. With the Cinebench 2024 and Geekbench single CPU test, the 8840HS is starting to show its age against the newer AI processors, coming in the middle of the pack for Geekbench, single core and near the bottom for Cinebench. In multi-core benchmark results with the Cinebench and Geekbench testing, the results are poor, falling towards the bottom of the pile in each test. 3D Mark Night Raid and Time Spy show that the, the 780M iGPU is behind the Intel Arc 8 core and below the newer AMD 860M. 3D Mark Still Nomad test shows the 780M is weak overall in a non-ray traced game-like workload. Finally, with PC Mark 10, the 8840HS 780M performs poorly towards the bottom tier processors. Here's a list of the benchmarking results for reference. The AMD Ryzen 7 8840HS is a rebranded 7840U offering performance similar to an Intel Core i7-13620H and the newer Intel Core Ultra 9 288V. Using the quick CPU tool plugged in balance mode idle, CPU temperature is around 42 Celsius. CPU clock speed is on average 2.5 GHz to 3.5 GHz and 4 watts CPU power with occasional bursts to 10 watts. The keyboard temperature is around 30.7 Celsius and the top vent temperature is 32.7 Celsius. Fan noise is less than 30 decibels at most. With video playback balance mode, the 8840HS CPU temperature is 52 Celsius on average, warm to the touch. CPU clock speed is on average 2.5 to 3.5 GHz and 8 to 13 watts CPU power. The fan stays quiet and the temperature at the vents is 37.5 Celsius and 33.7 Celsius at the center of the keyboard deck. Fan noise is less than 31 decibels at most. Set to high performance plugged in running Blender benchmarking. The CPU is around 3.2 to 3.6 GHz. CPU temperature is around 84 Celsius and CPU power is constant at 25 watts. The fan kicks in after a minute at up to 42 decibels. Temperatures around the top vents are 40 Celsius and 32.7 Celsius at the center of the keyboard. In battery mode, balance mode, video playback, the CPU power is 5 to 6 watts on average. Clock speed is 1.6 to 2 gigahertz on average and CPU temperature of 39 Celsius. The fans stay virtually silent and chassis temperatures hit 27.9 Celsius at most on the keyboard deck and 30.9 Celsius at the top vents. Same can be said with running the Blender Benchmark tool under battery mode, best performance. CPU power hits 25 watts, 3.5 gigahertz on the CPU cores and CPU temperature from 69 to a high of 82 Celsius. The fan stays silent at less than 30 decibels and temperatures are around 29 Celsius at the center of the keyboard deck and 35 Celsius by the top fence. Here's a list of the target audience for the HP Envy X360 16 AD 0003 NA. Business power users, working from home, college, university students, retired users, content creators, marketing executives. Inside is the AMD Radeon 780M iGPU with 12 CUs at up to 2700 MHz based on the RDNA 3 architecture. It uses up to 4 GB of dedicated GPU memory and up to 14 GB of shared GPU memory. It has 12 ray tracing cores and power consumption is between 35 to 54 watts. The 780M will play most modern titles in low to medium settings. Older titles will happily run in high to ultra settings. The 780M is best suited for a spot of gaming now and again. Here are some gaming samples.
The MVX360-16 doesn't have much in the way of security features as it's clearly aimed at consumers rather than business users. No fingerprint reader or Kensington security slot. There is a webcam privacy shutter to stop prying eyes. Inside is a 4-cell, 68 watt hour battery. So with a big bright screen and a powerful processor, what's the battery life like? On balance mode, 40% brightness, video playback, 1080p, I managed to eke out 14.5 hours of battery life. Impressive result. On battery mode, 40% running PC Mark 10 extended constantly. I managed to get an excellent 10 hours battery life, more than a full workday and then some, which is very respectable for a laptop of this size and power. Included is a 65 watt USB Type-C power adapter. Supports battery fast charge approximately 50% in 30 minutes. The good, the bad, and the really bad. Excellent performance. The AMD Ryzen 7 processor and 16 gigabytes of RAM provide more than enough power for demanding everyday use and creative tasks. Flexible chassis. The premium all metal build and the 360 degree hinge make it both beautiful and incredibly functional. Poor display. For multimedia convertible, HP have fitted a poor display to go with it. Limited colour accuracy and weak brightness, better suited as an office laptop first. The only positive is the useful touchscreen. So so IOs. You'll find two USB Type-C ports, two traditional USB Type-A ports, and a full-size HDMI 2.1 port. However, there's no USB 4 or SD card reader. Soldered memory. I love a first world problem. Soldered on memory so you can't upgrade after purchase. Shame, as in mid-2025, we're getting to a point where 24 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes will be the norm. One SSD slot. Most users of this MVX360 will find the one M.2 SSD slot fine, but it would have been nice to see another NVMe slot available for additional storage. Heavy. While portable at nearly 1.9 kilograms or 4.17 pounds, it's not the most travel-friendly option for everyone. Weak iGPU. The integrated graphics are capable, but this isn't a laptop for serious gamers. Good for casual gaming with older titles at low settings. There's healthy competition in the 16-inch convertible laptop category. What are the alternatives to the HP Envy X360 16AD 0003NA? In no particular order, here's some to consider. Lenovo Yoga 7 2-in-1 16 Gen 10 AMD. Dell Inspiron 16 7642-in-1. HP Spectra 16-inch X360 16 AA 0001 NA. Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 16-inch. LG Grand Pro 2-in-1 16-inch. Lenovo Yoga 7i 2-in-1 Gen 10 16-inch Intel. My final verdict? If you're a student, a part-time creative, or someone looking for a high-quality do-it-all laptop for your home and office, the HP Envy X360 16AD 0003NA is a solid choice. The AMD A840HS is still, after two years, a very capable processor for general office or college work. The keyboard and touchpad are comfortable to use all day, as well as using the precise touchscreen to write notes or some light photo touch-up. Plenty of ports, although Thunderbolt 4 and an SD card reader would have been a good touch. The letdown is the average display. Okay for office or web type work, but not for multimedia tasks like Photoshop or Premiere Pro 4K editing. Overall, the MV X360 beautifully balances performance, features and design, offering a premium experience that adapts to your needs as long as you don't need a color accurate screen. For the price, it gets a good recommendation from me. Thanks for watching. If this review was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech reviews. If you have any questions about the HP Envy X360, drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. See you in the next one. Cheers.